I don't think you should necessarily. Um, when I was growing up in Silicon Valley, I had you know one of the wisest and most experienced people uh, on a board with me, uh, Pierre Lamont, and Pierre said, absolutely, you sh uh, technology companies should never have COOs. And that was the conventional wisdom. And there's a lot of good reasons behind that conventional wisdom. So you're violating the conventional wisdom every time you hire a COO. I think some of the best reasons to do it is if you look at your calendar on a Sunday night and you're the CEO going into your week and more than half your calendar is already booked, you probably need another senior leader. Um, now, whether that person gets a title of COO is a different question, but you That's need to have enough flexibility. If, half your, if you're half your time is in meetings or something, if you're already, if you're already like have no time to think, no time for discretionary, you know, interaction with people, yeah. you are way over consumed as CEO. The second thing is there's been a rise, and I think this correlates with the rise of COOs. Many, many CEOs today want to play two roles. They want to be VP of product and CEO.